In this tutorial, I will share a couple of methods I've used to animate the plant you see currently, without using a single keyframe in Cinema 4D. The model used for this tutorial is the default dandelion flower model, available in the Cinema 4D asset browser. Before we dive into the process, make sure your leaf's geometry is separated into individual pieces. In addition, the pivot point of each leaf should be located at the bottom, and the axis orientation must follow a consistent pattern. For example, in my case, the Y axis points up, the Z axis points to the left, and the X axis points toward the geometry of the leaf. The same rules apply to the flower geometry pieces. This setup will provide the groundwork for the plant animation. Now I will demonstrate the first method for animating the bottom leaves of the plant. Select all the bottom leaves and while holding the Option or Alt key, left mouse click on the Null button. This will automatically parent each leaf to its individual null object. Null objects inherit the position and orientation of the leaves, which is crucial, because the next step involves placing all the leaves inside the fracture object. If you don't do this, the pivot points of your leaves will get messed up. After parenting the nulls to the fracture object, Add a MoGraph shader effector to the scene and rename it to Leaves Rotation Shader. Ensure it appears in the Effector step of the Fracture object. If not, drag and drop it there. In the Shader object, check the Rotation field and uncheck Scale. For the highlighted fields, define the rotation angles of your choice. On the Shading tab, set the Shader field to Noise and check the Time-dependent field. Left mouse click on Noise and change its space setting to World. This means the noise texture will map based on the world coordinates of the objects, instead of the local coordinates. Set the global scale to 40%, the animation speed to 0.8, and slightly increase the contrast to 20%. Now click the play button. The leaves should be fully animated. Stop the animation and click the go to start button to position the playhead at the start of the timeline. For the second method, I will demonstrate how to animate only the biggest flower of the plant, as the same technique was used to animate all of them. Apply twist and bend deformers to the flower. Check the keep lens field of the bent deformer. Make sure that the bounding boxes of the bent and twist deformers cover the whole flower geometry. If necessary, adjust the bending and twisting alignment of the bend and twist deformers. I left all these settings at the default values. Copy a leaf's rotation shader object and rename it to bend shader. Make sure its position, rotation and scale properties are not checked. If you wish, you can change its noise pattern by going to the shading tab, clicking on the noise shader thumbnail and adjusting the seed value. Change the global scale value to 100%. Feel free to modify any property to suit your preferences. Switch to the Fields tab and add a box field. Increase the inner offset value to 100% and scale the box field to cover the entire geometry you want to animate. If you skip this step, the subsequent actions won't work. Next, add an Expresso tag to the bent shader. A new Expresso editor window will appear. By using the current Expresso, we connect the strands of our bent shader's animated noise to the bent deformer of our flower. Drag and drop the bent shader inside the Expresso editor. A new bent shader node will be created. Note that blue and red colors on a node represent input and output ports respectively. Left mouse click on the red spot and select the object port. Now add a sample node. Left mouse click on the red spot and choose the strands port. Connect the object port to the effector port. This connection allows us to read the strength property of the bent shader, which has a value between 0 and 1. Now we need to map that value to the bending degrees. To do this, add a range mapper node and connect it to the strands port. Ensure the input lower and upper values are set to 0 and 1 respectively. For the output lower and upper values, define the minimum and maximum range for how you want your geometry to bend. In my case, I set them to minus 3 and 10. We assume these values are in degrees. Next, we need to convert the output degrees of the range mapper to radians. Add a mass node and change its function to multiply. Connect the first input to the range mapper output. For the second input, type 0 0.0175. 
This value represents pi divided by 180 degrees. By multiplying the output degrees from the range mapper node by 0 0.0175, we transform those degrees into radians. Finally, drag and drop the flower band deformer into the expressor editor. Left mouse click on the blue spot and select the strength port, connect it to the math output port. Now we can drive the flower bending with the animated noise we defined earlier in the band shader. And it all happens automatically. Copy and paste the band shader and rename it to twist shader. Using the same approach demonstrated earlier, modify its noise shader properties if needed. Enter the expresso tag of the twist shader, update the output values of the range mapper tag if needed. Replace the last band deformer node with the twist deformer and connect its input angle port to the mass output port. Using the second technique, you can animate any property of your choice, not just rotation, scale and position like in the first method. However, the drawback of this approach is that you can only manipulate a single strength property of the noise. In contrast, the first method allows you to work with the entire range of values created by noise pattern.